All right, on my 75 uh, Buick Century Showstopper build, um, I'm trying to go pretty detailed with this car, painting everything. Like I said, if it was a uh, original car, I wouldn't go off in uh, this car like I'm going, but I'm going into pretty good detail with this car, so. Um, I'm on, I don't know, the guy had a lot of, uh, I guess when I brought the car up out of Atlanta, Georgia, um, it looked like he had ran up on something and bent one of the floor pans. And uh, I hammered that all out, got that all straightened out years ago, uh, thanks to some guys on the Colorado uh, page that I'm on for the Buick Centuries, Monte Carlos. Uh, they got me squared away with T-Top. So while I got a little time in between um, the build that me and Bob is doing that 70, uh, I mean 66 Wildcat and um, 79 is off to the shop and uh, I got a little bit more work to do to the Park Avenue, but I want to, it's a nice day out here today. I want to get this uh, fan shroud, um, radiator shroud, you know, cleaned up. Uh, so like when it's raining, a little of that acid rain to help, you know, clean a lot of the grease out of there. So when I do my final clean, you know, I can get it down, get it stripped down, get all the oil out, out, of, out of it and get that painted up because it's just dingy and dirty and uh, this car is gonna be so nice that just putting this thing back on there you know faded like it is no I'd rather paint it I'm gonna paint it blue um, I think it's gonna turn out pretty nice so I'm just show you I'm gonna show you what this fan is looking like here the fan shroud and you can see what I'm doing um, if I was, if you was paying somebody to do this car the way I'm doing this car, it would just cost way too much money. But by it being mine, I ain't got nothing but time. As long as the Lord, the good Lord, let, allow me to be here. Plenty of time to get the work done, so. Okay, so as you see here, like I say, this thing is pretty faded out and whatever. Um, never get this cleaned up, so I'm going to paint it. But I got to get all of this uh, undercoating off of here. And it, it's not coming off hard, but it's just tedious work. And uh, tedious work but it takes time uh, once I get it down I take some engine I mean some brake cleaner and I clean this up pretty good like I did the rest of it but uh, I'm getting ready that I can start putting this build back together especially I uh, ordered the t-tops if the t-top seals come in and they correct even if they close, I'm going to make them work, and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, if they work, then you'll know that you can get the T-top seals for your car. And, you know, if you got a Regal or a Regal or Century, so I'm just going to show you how it's done here. Okay, so now that I got the majority of that cleaned off, I'm going to set up me a oil, oil draining uh, bucket here and uh, get me a brush, get some engine, I mean some brake, I keep saying trying to say engine cleaner, but uh, brake cleaner and I'm going to clean this baby up. So I get this cleaned up with some brake cleaner okay <clears throat> so what I normally do here 
because I got me old. Man, after I use this, I like the. I save it and use it later. Like I said, I did some of this already. And uh, see that brake cleaner, it cleans grease. It's expensive though, but that's why I try to use it, reuse as much as I can. So I dip that down in there. And I'm gonna clean this up the best I can here with with uh, this without even using any that's uh, fresh out the can. So See that? Clean all of that off of there pretty good there. So I come back in. And like I say, the reason I want to do this today, because I don't really like using this stuff inside the garage, because just how strong it smells. So a good day I just want to get this clean up I'll be moving on to other things bigger better things today but you got to work on these things every day to make progress you know if you lazy don't you know want to get out here and get the job done the cars will be sitting around sitting around forever so I put in work, that's for sure. I have a life too. The coronavirus right now, how much life can you have? So, perfect time to get out here and really get some stuff done. So that comes off of there. See that? Cleans up pretty darn good cleans up so I'm gonna finish the rest of this up and move on to something else all right 75 Buick Century Showstopper real tail lights I had them painted but they got scratched up ah. uh, some brake parts that I'm painting blue let them dry for a while <clears throat> the ones on the car already is painted but um like to let them sit a while but you know because the longer the paint dries uh the harder and and it is you know the chip but yeah the Sherald guys fan Sherald all things beer guys 75 century the showstopper just wanted to show y'all you know how I'm doing this car you know on the on the little top of the rails there I probably put me some white stripes on there right on those three uh pieces there white stripes but all things beauty guys the showstopper yeah, other pieces, brake pieces for the emergency brake, air conditioning, tops of the radio support, probably the letter in there. Probably gonna see if I can touch that up with white. All the lettering. <clears throat> Car is gonna be very detailed, guys. Very detailed. All right, guys, hoping I can get this one done. Got to get the windshields put in it's pretty soon here on this baby. Got it covered up because I was doing some spraying. But uh, 
the showstopper guy is coming. All right, thanks. All right, guys, hey, if you got a video you want to send me, your project build, uh, your car if it's already clean, mint condition, number one, two, three, four, five car, whatever condition it is, email address is on top, allthingsbuick at gmail.com. Guys, send me a video and I will feature you on my channel. Alright, thanks guys. Hey, share these videos. Watch the whole thing, guys. Support my channel. I thank all that do. And uh, share and like these videos. Let a friend know. <clears throat> Let a friend know. Alright, thanks guys.